mark again. This is Exotic Car Play Place. And we're heading down to the BMW dealer today because we got that recall in the mail. As you probably saw in one of my previous videos here, I talked about that recall that was outstanding on the X5. And I'm gonna talk about that as well because I'm taking the car in for recall. It's 30 below outside here where I live, well, almost. And I really don't feel like doing the oil change myself, so we're also doing an oil service. And I'll give you an update as to how much these guys charge me for an oil change today. And I'll explain more on the whole situation of the airbags. So we'll talk about that very briefly for now, but guys, stick around. Let's, uh, we're taking her down to the shop, and I'll let you know how that looks. Hey everybody, I'm not sure why I'm smiling, but here we are. So I just picked up the BMW X5, took it home. Now I'm out just tooling around, but I will, I did promise you guys that I would show you and explain to you how much the oil service was. Now I know you guys have often said, I've had a lot of you guys say, why don't you do your own oil service? Do your own oil change, learn to do it. There's lots of cheap parts out there aftermarket for filters and you do it, you save a fortune. And I totally agree. And I'm the kind of guy that's not scared to get his hands dirty. So we all know that if you've seen some of my videos, but the oil service on the X5 was very expensive. And the only reason I took it to the dealer, well, there's two things. Number one, it, the, the car had to go in because of a recall anyway, but also because just the time it is right now, busy with, with making films, been busy making videos, busy with a bunch of other things and personal life and things like that. So I haven't had a lot of time to be able to spend even a day in the shop here lately. So I definitely plan on getting back in the shop soon to do some other project work. But for now, I just, I didn't have the time. And so, you know, that coupled with, I needed the, to get the airbags taken care of. I just figured I would just let these guys tackle it this time. But I'm gonna share with you how much that bill actually wound up being. So I got the final tally and because it's a diesel, they also, add the DEF, the diesel exhaust fluid, they always throw that in there as an additional cost, but they tell you that when they do the oil change, they always top that up. But guess what? I actually added my own about a week ago or two weeks ago, I just added my own, I topped it up. So I'm not totally sure I'm convinced on that part of it. Are they, you know, are they being entirely truthful? How much did they actually add? I don't know. But more or less, let's just talk about the oil service. The oil service, ended up costing me $280. Not cheap. Now that's Canadian funds, of course. US, that's probably $32. No, but all kidding aside, that is still a, a large amount of money. $283 for an oil change and filter and DEF top up. So that's not a real cheap amount of money. But the other thing was the airbag. So I wanna give you a little bit of feedback on that. If you watch that video, I talked about the airbag recall that was the reason I had to take the X5 in in the first place. There was a recall, I had to take the X5 in because the airbags, the airbag recall. So I got in there and they said, they looked it up on the computer and it didn't specify that in the note that I got, but the notification just said you needed to replace the airbag module. But when I got in there, they actually told me I needed two airbag modules. There's the driver's side and the passenger side. So apparently there was two airbag modules. Now the driver's side module they said the book time replacement for that was about two and a half hours. The passenger side was a lot more. The book time to actually replace the passenger side airbags were about eight. They, they said it was about eight hours. So I actually checked my car in and I was more or less down, uh, down, you know, out of the car was out of commission for about eight hours. So I would say if you're taking your car in for that, be prepared. It's, a, it's about an eight hour replacement car charge time. So because it was an airbag replacement, or module replacement and it was a recall that was free of charge fortunately because if you have your car in the shop for eight hours nine hours you can pretty much expect to pay probably a thousand fifteen hundred dollars to have your car worked on for that amount of time but the reality is all I had was the oil service to cover for today so I just wanted to let you guys in on that little scoop like I said you can expect probably two airbag modules a significant amount of time but the car was tied up for basically the day and yeah other than that it was in and out relatively harmless and I will say one thing those guys washed my car 
I came out and it was looking shiny and spicky span and it was ready to go. Like I said, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just a little feedback on how much these oil service really costs on the X5. It's quite expensive and I'm becoming more and more motivated to do my own servicing, all of my own servicing. I know this one was, like I said, I let it go out of inconvenience, but you can't afford to let that go. I mean, that's a lot of money you're leaving on the table. So anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. And if you did, please make sure you give me a thumbs up, like. Don't forget to drop a comment. I'd like to know how much your guys' servicing costs are. I know I've done other videos similar to this, but this is the most recent. And how much is it kind of on the U.S. side? How about in Europe? What are you guys paying when you take it to the dealer? I understand doing it yourself is probably the best, the best option in terms of cost savings. But if you take it to the dealer, how much are your dealers charging you guys? I'd like to know. Europe, Asia... US, what, what are you guys paying for your oil changes? Maybe even in Canada, you know, maybe across the other side of the uh, the other side of the country, maybe it's a little different, I don't know. But anyway, everybody, I hope you liked it. Make sure you give it a like, thumbs up, comment, and do not forget to subscribe. Lots more great content to follow. We'll talk to you guys soon. All right, bye-bye.